Hey, hello guys, my name is Max and today I'm gonna show you how you can retime an alambic file. So I'm going to put mine. This is a pretty simple scene I made in Houdini. So this is pretty linear and I wanna shift the range and extend it to 250 frames. So I'm going to start my animation at like 15, I think. So I'm going to click on my, I'm just selecting that. I'm going to click on my alambic file. I'm going to uncheck the use animation as well. And if you shift this parameter, as you can see, you can play the animation. So I'm going to keyframe this. So I'm going to start at 15 and 250. My animations finish at 55, I think. And if we play now, we have some linear movements and some interpolation as well of the mesh. So if you want some interpolation like me, I export it from Houdini. So you need the static points ID, static points ID, sorry, and static geo, like the point number need to be the same as well. So now I'm going to ease this animation. So I'm going to the timeline, right click on the alambic file, special tracks and time tracks. So as you can see, we have uh, curves and we need to attribute these curves to the frame parameter because in the frame parameter, we don't have access to the curve or anything else. So click once on the frames and we have the time track slot right there. So we click the times and we drop in the slot. And now if we just ease this, as you can see, we can play with the time of the alambics and also with the interpolation. So we don't have some steppings Yeah, so this is the tricks I use all the time for Houdini Sims or anything else. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon.